our usual warm up. Uh, am I? Let me. I think I've got too much feeling. Two little feet. I've always had two little feet, but uh, no, lost my head. <laughs> As they say. Okay. All right. So let's feel our connection to the ground. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Feel where your weight's distributed between the balls of your feet and heels. Let the toes dig in. And let's start moving side to side, keeping the connection to the ground, keeping your feet flat on the floor and your torso straight up and down. And see how far you can take your center of gravity over from one side to the other. And let's go in a little bit of a circle, a little bit in front and behind. And the other way. Keep those toes digging in. Okay, let's roll the shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Arms out, thumbs up, circles, little break in the knee to protect the lower back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hands on the hips, let the shoulders relax and come down. Drop the head to one side and roll the head back slowly and around. One, two, three, snap, crack, or pop. Four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Let's throw the arms around, look over the shoulder, going back, take your gaze as far around as you can. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Hands back on the hips. Warm them up. Circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go over to a chair, a wall, hold on. Front foot, side foot, cross this in front of the other one. Outside arm comes up and over, let the head drop and get the stretch down that whole lateral line. Breathe in and out. And each time you exhale, you can go a little further down. Good. Let's go to the other side. 
cross that outside leg in front of the inside, outside arm up and over the head, drop the head and breathe. Okay, let's take all our weight onto one foot, hold on if you need something, other foot comes up, do circles at the ankle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. Good. Let's take our weight onto the other foot and we're doing circles again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, let's go into that sort of half squat position. Back is straight, hips are back. We take all our weight onto one side and we take the other foot up and push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. You can really feel that in both legs, right? Okay, other side. Into that half squat position. Weight over one foot. Other foot comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake it out. Let's warm up the hips a little bit more. So let's just do some body weight squats this way. So we're going to hip hinge down, arms come out, and stand back up. Ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Go into the split squat stance. So you have one foot forward, one foot back. That back foot should be pointing pretty much the same as the front foot straight forward. We're gonna keep our torso straight up and down and with the back knee, take ourselves down and up. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Let's grab the bands. and put them around your ankles. And we're going to take all our weight onto one foot again and keeping tension on the band, we tap the toe out, tap the toe behind, to the side, behind, to 
the side, behind. We're not transferring our weight, just toe touching, behind, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's take all our weight onto the other side. Again, just toe touching. So not stepping out, keeping your weight over that stationary leg. Touch side, behind, side, behind, side, behind, side, behind, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Let's take it off the ankles. Put it around the wrists. All of these, you have your elbows locked out so that your arms are straight. We'll start with the arms down. You initiate these with the shoulder blades. The shoulders come back, you bring the shoulder blades together. Then the hands come further apart and back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. This whole series, it's really important that you start with the shoulders coming back. It's a postural corrective exercise, right? Because that whole posterior chain is always being stretched, so it's weak and long because we're always focused in front of ourselves, on the phone, or the computer, or the phone. And what we want to do is pull everything back, use those muscles that we don't really use much of. All right, let's have the band straight out, elbows locked again, and you're going to pull the shoulder blades to, together as you pull your hands apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm going to just turn the heat down a second. All right, again, elbows locked out, arms straight in front of you, little bend in the knee to check the back, turn the arms to the diagonal, and pull the shoulders back. Pull, pull, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. So you, whenever you're doing these series, you want to think about the effort is not so much pulling the wrists apart as pulling the shoulder blades together. All right. Let's grab the dumbbells. So we're going to start with our usual, you're in that down squat position. Your back is pretty much parallel to the ground. You're going to pull the weights up and down, out and down, hips forward, push press, down, down. Okay, here we go for 10. One, out, hips, push, two, out, hips, push, three, out, hips, push, four, out, hips, push. So when we do the out again, it's pulling the shoulder blades together, yeah? Pull up, out, hips, 
push six out. Seven out. Eight. Push. Nine. And ten. Good. All right, let's do some shoulder and then we'll go to the lower body. So let's go into that split squat stance again. And you're going to take both arms up and you lower one at a time, down, down and down, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's switch which foot you have forward. The lower you are, the more you're working your lower body. Both come up, down, and down. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Feel a little burn in the shoulder. All right, let's go to the lower body. So we're going to do some sumo squats. You're going to hold the weights against your chest. Nice wide stance, feet turned out. Keep the knees out. You come down. And up, down, two, down, three, down, keep the knees apart, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Take a break. So the next thing we're going to do is that same sumo squat with the bounce and one heel up on one side, one heel up on the other, and then back up, all right? Weights are still against our chest. Nice wide stance, feet turned out, knees apart, we go down, one heel, one heel, up. Up, up, up. Up, up, three. Up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Let's put the dumbbells away. Grab your mats. Keep your band at hand. We're going to start on all fours. And 
just lift the knees a hair off the ground. And come up, hold, one, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, down. Up, three. Up, four. Up, five. Up, six. Up, seven. Up, eight. Up, nine. Up, ten. Good. The toes are active. You have the toes up on those four. So now we're going to do the opposites out. You're going to get as long as you can. It's not about getting the high, just long, stretch long, and keep the torso parallel to the floor. All right? Here we go. Out, long, stretch, and back. Nick was neutral, looking straight down. Out, and one. Out, out, two. Out, out, three, out, out, four, out, out, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. All right. Let's go on to our sides. As usual, you can have your bottom arm straight out. You can cradle your head in your hand. That top arm hand is taking some of your weight. You're leaning forward into it. Both feet are off the ground. And nice slow circles for 10 with the top leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's go the other way. Ten. Quiet torso. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, we're going to take that top leg, throw it forward, get the stretch as you exhale, breathe on the way in. One, two, three, four, upper body still quiet, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Top arm on top leg. We're leaning forward a little bit. You don't want to lean back on knees because you bring the hip flexor into it. You don't want that. And we're going to come up, pulse, pulse, down. Up, pulse, pulse, one. Up, pulse, pulse, two. Up, pulse, pulse, three. Up, four. Up, five. Up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Good. All right. Grab your bands. And let's put the bands around the legs up at the knee.
We're on our side, propped up on that bottom arm elbow, and we're either doing the clam alone, just open close, or we're coming up and opening and back down. Here we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's go to the other side while we've got the band on. For ten, we would go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, we can take the band off. We're on our belly, arms by the side, neck is tucked, chin is tucked to protect the neck. We're going to raise the head and the feet off the ground, pull the shoulders back and down, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's sit back on our heels. Spread your knees nice and wide so you can get between them. Let your head drop onto the back of your hands. And breathe. Let that lower back stretch out. Good. All right. Go to the other side. Again, you lean forward a little bit. Both feet off the ground. Nice slow circles. Top lane one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Throw that top leg forward as you exhale and get the stretch. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Top arm on top leg, come up, pulse, pulse, go ten, up, pulse, pulse, one, up, pulse, pulse, two. Up, pulse, pulse, three. Up, pulse, pulse, four. Up, pulse, pulse, five. Up, six. Up, seven. Up, eight. Up, nine. Up, ten. Good. We're back on our belly. This time your arms are straight out in front of you. Chin is tucked to protect the neck. We're going to come up with the hands and feet and touch opposite sides. As if we're doing flutter kick with both hands and feet. And up, touch, 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 touch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Again, sit back on your heels. 
Let the head drop. Feel your breath on your lap through your belly. And let that back stretch out. All right, let's put the mats aside for the moment and do some moving. So we're going to start, as always, we are walking, all these walks are on the balls of your feet. You're up on the balls of your feet and you're nice and loose in the upper body. You have an opposite going on, yeah? All right, and let's go for the first one all the way up onto you know, as high as you can get on the balls of your feet, we'll do it round. Here we go. It's a short course, I know. We should incorporate a staircase into one of these sometime. I'll think about that. All right, let's walk opposite. It's like a penguin walk. It's very awkward, but it's good for working out that anterior tibialis, the muscle in front of the calf. That's really necessary to pull the toes up so you don't trip. So we're going to walk on our heels. One tour. Here we go. All right, let's move laterally. So it's going to be still up on the balls of the feet, but it'll be step, step, step. Go ahead. Let's move the other way. Go in the opposite direction. Step. Oh, you can come through. Step. Step. Can we try? Yeah. Good. And we're back. Okay. Let's move to the side still, but we're going to do the crossover. So you step in front, behind, in front, behind. Go ahead, in front, behind. Do you have strangers wandering through your house? <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do that same thing in the opposite direction. And remember, we're still on the balls of our feet, okay? All right, in front, behind. In front, behind. In front, behind. Good. All right. Boy, it's blowing over here, I'm sure by you as well. Um, let's do the backwards walk. 
Again, you know, make sure your coast is clear, safe. Um, if you're tentative or feel uncomfortable, slide, slide the foot. If you still have opposites going, yeah? If you're really comfortable, you can step. And if you're still more comfortable, you can stay on the balls of your feet. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go to the walk where we, every third step, go down, okay? We're gonna hold it for a three count when we go down. So it's one, two, three, hold. Back up, one, two, two three, okay? Here we go, one, two, three. All right. Let's do the one where on every third step we change direction by a quarter turn. So if we're walking straight, we go to sideways, we go to backward, we just keep turning in whatever direction we started. All right, here we go. Still on the balls of our feet. Okay. Let's turn the opposite way. So let's go in the opposite direction. Here we go. Okay. Let's do the skip in place sort of thing where we start as if we're starting the foot race. We're in that split squat stance, but this time we have the torso forward and opposite arm and leg in front and behind. Okay. And we come up and down, up and down, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake it out. Let's put the other foot forward. Torso forward. Opposite set up. We come up and down, up, down, up, three, up, four, up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Let's go back to the map. So we're going to do the two um, exercises that are in the up push-up position. Remember, I want you to have your hips high, okay? 
And the first one, you'll have your arms, your hands close together, your feet further apart, and you're going to touch the shoulder one and one, which makes one. Okay, here we go. Touch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, knees down. So the idea with that exercise is that everything is stationary. It doesn't move except for your hands. And the reason for that is that everything that's holding you stationary is sort of a core muscle. And the whole point of the core is stabilization. So if you're moving, you can be moving like we're swinging our legs, keeping the torso stationary, and the torso core muscles are working. Um, but if someone's moving the muscle that they say they're working for core, it doesn't make any sense. Right? So here, you don't want the hips going from side to side as you pick up one arm or the other. All right? Okay, this time, we're going to... Sometimes this seems better without a mat. We're going to have the hands wider apart and the feet together, and we're going to arch the leg out and back, out and back. All right, here we go. One and one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Let's do some get ups. We'll do three on each side, all right? I wanna start from laying on your back. And what we're going to do is you're laying flat out on your back. You're going to raise one foot up with knee bent and that foot's going to push you over to your side. You're going to push up with that top hand to get your bottom elbow up. And then from there, you're in where we often start in that side stance. From here, the top leg comes up and you plant that foot, put the weight onto the hands and pull the bottom knee through, walk the hands back, down, back down. All right, let's do two more on that side. We're flat on our back. We raise one knee up, push through that leg to roll over, Push that top hand to get the elbow on the bottom up. And then we come up to our position. You plant that top leg foot, pull the bottom knee through, walk the hands back, hip hinge up, hip hinge down, and back to the start. Last one on this side. Foot comes up, pushes us over, push up on that hand, Elbows planted, get the hands stationed, top leg, foot plants, bottom knee comes through, walk the hands, hip hinge, back round. Let's go to the other side. Flat on the back. That back leg comes up, it pushes us over. We push with that top hand, Get the elbow under, bring the le legs in, hands come up, pull that bottom knee through, push with the hands to walk back or up, hip hinge down again. Back leg comes up, 
push through that foot to roll us over. Top arm hand pushes us up, bottom elbows planted. Bring the legs in. Get up on the hands. Push and pull that back underneath through. Walk the hands back. Hip hinge up. Hip hinge down. Good. Last one. Back leg comes up. Back foot pushes us over. Top arm hand pushes us up. Bottom elbow is propped. Bring the legs in. Get up onto our hands. We push and pull that bottom knee through. Walk the hands back. Hip hinge up. Hip hinge down. And we're through. All right. Let's do one more. And then we'll do some breathing. So we're going to do some bear crawls. We put this aside. So the bear crawls, I think we need to progress them a little bit. They're getting too easy for you. So let's add a couple steps. Um, so instead of three, let's just go to four, okay? So we're down on all fours to start. We bring the knees up. We walk forward, one, two, three, four. We walk back, two, three, four. We walk to the right, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four, knees down. All right? Let's do two more of them. Right, we come up. We walk forward, one, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Across two, three, four, back two, three, four, and down. Good. Last one. We come up, forward one, two, three, four, back two, three, four, side two, three, four, back two, three, four, and down. Good. We're going to do one more of that sort of thing. It's a moving plank. All right, so you're going to keep your hips a little high, if we do, and just go to one side and then to the other. All right, so we'll say five steps out, five steps back. All right, so we're up like this. All right, hips high, and we move one, two, three, four. Five and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. How did that go? I think that's a new one for you. We gotta shake it up a little bit. All right, let's do that one more time and then we'll do the breathing. All right? So we're up and we step one, two, three, four, five, and back, five, four, three, two, and one, knees down. All right, let's get the mats back. We're going to lay down on your back in the most comfortable position you know. You're not using any muscles, totally relaxed. I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let your belly rise as you breathe in, out. Let your face relax shoulders, the sink into the floor, the legs are relaxed. Just focus on your breathing.
Okay.